multispectral imaging with our system Antonello. Um, this is a system low cost and educational. That's why we propose it to our community. Uh, this uh, approach started in, uh, let's say, 2002 when I was a PhD student. So I started my interest as a physicist into this art and science approach. And, uh, and then, as many of us, they do uh, for about 10 years, I was uh, traveling, doing my uh, postdoc positions, uh, looking into different and interesting techniques like uh, neutron imaging, atomic force microscopy, terriers, uh, in different uh, institutions. Then, uh, basically, in 2012, uh, um, Basically, I noticed uh, this gap uh, between uh, the academic research and what is really possible and needed in the art professionals um, field. So I'm talking about small medium museums, um, conservators, studios, uh, and even colleges like uh, those that have programs on art and science. So basically the approach um, is a different and, uh, and so i started um, this uh, the cultural heritage science open source initiative uh, which mission is to promote practical methods for art examination uh, where practical means uh, low cost, so something that these uh, institutions, uh, small museum, medium museum, can afford. Practical means uh, adaptable, so I won't have the most return uh, from this equipment. So I want it to be used for uh, wall paintings, manuscripts, easel paintings. Uh, practical means uh, easy and maintenance. So easy means that uh, I have in mind a conservator that also want to do some science. So uh, must be something that in a, a little time frame, in a little time, can be used for the analysis of the object. Uh, doesn't require a very skilled personnel to operate it. Maintenance means also the cost of, because uh, since uh, this equipment will be used once in a while, doesn't have to be high maintenance cost. Um, it also, as um, Confucius said, don't, do not use a cannon to kill a mosquito. So the idea is that of the minimal effort. So again, the idea for the audience for this uh, um, mission is the um, conservators, the art professionals. They are already busy with their conservation work, for example. So the idea is to uh, try to have the minimal effort to gain information of the object. Um, so basically the, the approach of uh, this uh, Antonello multispectral imaging system as the other tools that we develop is like uh, what I like this image uh, a Ferrari and uh, the famous Italian Fiat 500. So the Ferrari is uh, the top um, of these um, cars, of course, and uh, uh, it's nice, it's a super, uh, it's very costly, high cost of maintenance. With the 500 uh, doesn't have the performance of the Ferrari, but um, it's, uh, you can still go places using this, uh, this tool. Um, so that's the approach. So it doesn't have the maximum of performance, but uh, you can use it, you can have your, um, your way to go. Um, and also another aspect of this uh, approach at the CHSOS is that these uh, tools are developed by art professionals for art professionals. So I do also the art uh, examination service and so I know at least I have the feeling of what is really needed in, uh, in this field. Um, okay, so this is different from just being in a lab. 
um, and so in just being there and imagine what art conservators should have, what information they want. So basically, uh, CHSOS is uh, these are three things. So it's a training program. So people can come here in Italy in our studio or we can go abroad. And basically, uh, they can feel, people can uh, test our instrumentations. Um, so we develop these uh, tools um, aimed at uh, this, uh, to be practical. And uh, we also do the, sur the art examination service, uh, which is important. So we have the feeling of what is really needed in this field. So let's now talk eventually of Antonello. So Antonello is this multispectral imaging system developed uh, keeping in mind these uh, aspects about, uh, uh, we said, uh, easy to use, uh, maintenance, low cost, and so on. So basically it's uh, made of 18 filters. So the idea here was to have the minimum number of filters to do this uh, multispectral imaging examination. So they are not equally spaced, but basically uh, they cover the area where there are the most of information on, uh, on the pigments, historical pigments. Uh, so the idea is uh, with these uh, 18 filters, uh, we can take 18 images, so which will have in practice, in practice uh, different colors, of course, so now starting from the close UV, uh, the close violet until all the visible and the infrared. And uh, using uh, a special software for uh, the examination, we make the multispectral imaging cube, and so we can recover uh, basically reflectance spectra, uh, which are uh, um, similar in the shape. Of course, they are made just of 18 points. They are similar to that acquired with uh, um, uh, a real reflectance spectrometer. So this allow anyway. This, uh, uh, making these uh, reflectance curves allows us to do what uh, um, multispectral imaging systems are used mostly, and, and that's, that is uh, automatic mapping. So on the left we have our mock-up painting, so it's made with these uh, known uh, pigments, and basically on the right uh, is uh, the result of this uh, multispectral imaging examination. So basically we have uh, this uh, false color mapping. So we can uh, differentiate uh, the presence of the different um, colors, uh, pigments actually on, uh, on the object. Um, so the system is a uh, very low cost because uh, basically you use the uh, full spectrum camera that you already have. So it could be Nikon as we used, but uh, could be anything else, the Canon and something. Uh, and you apply this filter on this camera as regular filters. Um, adaptable uh, is this a system adaptable um, we thought uh, about using these uh, filters rather than other systems like for example the uh, LEDs based system because uh, uh, when you have these LEDs based system basically mm, they have limited lighting possibilities so generally they are made of a box black box when you have the, where you have these LEDs and so they are fine uh, for small object they are fast of course because everything is a setup inside the box uh, but just a small object um, using the filters, we have the possibility to analyze object of any dimension, basically large, small. So, for example, here we have wall paintings, a uh, very large area. So it's possible here to do the MSI examination, multispectral image imaging examination, uh, because we just uh, use uh, uh, large halogen lamps. So we can use one watts, 1000 watts halogen lamps on the side and we have lit uh, the area and we can take our 18 uh, multispectral imaging images. 
Um, maintenance uh, also is uh, very practical because uh, basically the filters last forever and the camera is just a camera that you can replace maybe when it gets old to, to have um, a large, uh, for example, pixel counts camera no? with more pixel. Uh, now we're using the um, 45 megapixel, you can use later on a 60 and so on. Thank you so much.